So this session on horizontal scaling versus vertical scaling. Scalability describes your system's ability to adapt to change and demand. Good scalability protects you from future downtime and ensures the quality of your service. Horizontal scaling refers to adding additional nodes or machines to your infrastructure to cope with new demands. Vertical scaling describes adding additional resources to a system so that it meets demand. In this session, you will learn all about horizontal and vertical scaling. So without further ado, let us begin with the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Hey guys, this will be the bonus part of this video. Here I'll be discussing the hands-on demo part of it. So basically I'll teach you guys how to illustrate horizontal and vertical scaling in the AWS console. That is I have taken AWS as my cloud provider and I'll be showing how to scale horizontally and how to scale vertically in AWS console. So my uh, storage choice for my code base is EC2. So I'll be creating EC2 instances. So let's say I choose Ubuntu as my operating system. That will be my environment. I'll just select this and I'll select T2 micro as my instance type. I'll just keep it to be the default storage that is 8 GB SSD and uh, I'll just keep this to be default as well. I'll skip on the tags and uh, I'll keep the security configuration to be default as well since this is a demo and I just click on launch and I just proceed without a key pair but in real life if you are creating an EC2 instance make sure that you download a key pair that is available from the AWS or creating your own key pair since this is a demo and I'll be deleting my instance soon I don't need a key pair and I will launch the instance right now so it is showing my instance is launching it will take just a few seconds to do so and there's a new instance created here and it is running so i forgot to name my instance i'll just name it right now no issues i'll just call it demo one so this is my created instance now let's say suppose uh, i have a website and i'll put my code base in here in the ec2 instance that the code base may contain uh, html files css files javascript files and other resource files along with it so i'll put all my code base in the ec2 let's say i had to serve all of the requests and my instance cannot handle this so i need to either choose from uh, scaling it horizontally or vertically so i will show you both the types so the first case is i'll be showing you guys how to do it uh, vertically how to vertically scale the instance so vertically scaling means basically uh, upgrading your a current instance so in order to do that i'll first stop my instance and it says successfully stopped now i'll go to actions instance setting now i need to wait for it to stop let me just refresh my page yeah now that it is stopped i'll go to actions again and go to instance settings and here uh previous to stopping the instance this was not highlighted now that it is highlighted that is the change instance type i will click on this button and if you remember i had selected t2 micro basically this instance is having uh, the specifications of 1 gigs of ram and 8 gb of storage so let's say i want to increase that to vertically scale it let's say i'll choose a uh, large so that i can uh, serve all the requests from the server and i'll click on apply so uh, as you can see our instance name is demo1 and the instance type under here is uh, t2 large so now our uh, instance is scaled vertically you can also attach extra storage to it as well if you want uh, the default is 8 gigs of storage you can upgrade it if you want to now we are done with vertical scaling that is keeping one server and uh, upgrading all the specifications for it now i will be showing you how to horizontally scale that is adding in more servers of the same specification in order to do this first you need to select your instance and go to actions and uh, click on images and templates and click on create image so what click on image does is so i will show you that shortly 
um, but first you need to enter the image name I'll just call it as demo copy let's call it as demo copy image description is optional reboot enable I'll just let it be so basically what this does is creates an image of your uh, current EC2 instance at this time and on the left hand corner uh, you have uh, images and under that you have AMIs and if you click on that my AMI uh, name that is if you guys remember I had named my AMI or image as demo copy so now I'll select this and launch the instance from it so uh, you can launch a new instance separately but the advantage of launching it from an image is that you replicate your already existing uh, EC2 instance so that they both are the same that is uh, if you guys remember I had chosen my operating system to be Ubuntu and uh, T2 micro with uh, 1 gigs of memory and 8 gigs of storage it will all be the same the environment will be the same go to next go to next keep all of these as default and I will launch it right now. and I will click on uh, I do not want a private key or a public key and launch instance and the message displayed here is your instances are now launching I just have to wait a few more seconds now uh, there are previously there were three uh, two of my old uh, EC2 instances and demo one now there is a new instance created and it is running right now I did not name it uh, so no worries I can just name it here I'll just call this as demo cop all right so now whatever code base was there on demo one will be the same in demo copy so now we have two servers running which is running on the same environment so that you can serve your requests better so this was horizontal scaling to sum it up uh, what I've shown you is uh, firstly I created an EC2 instance called demo1 it was T2 micro and I scaled it vertically to T2 large that is I increased its uh, RAM size and storage size as well the next thing what I did was make an image of demo1 and uh, from that image I launched another instance or a server in this case called as demo copy and this basically is a copy of our first server so this is horizontal scaling so thank you guys uh, that's it for this video just a quick info guys if you want to make a career in cloud and devops then intellipad provides an advanced certification in cloud computing and devops by enict academy iit roorkee and it is taught by IIT Roorkee professors and industry experts. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job. Now let's continue with the session.